You know me around the block and shit. I saw something on Twitter while I was on Discord chilling with Melo and uh, Christy without the C. I don't know if that's a chick or not, but regardless, I saw that Travis Scott was trending. Let me see if it's on here. Can y'all see this? I don't even know. I'm a little tipsy. Here we go. Even, even Young Thug is trending. But where was Travis Scott right here? Music, Travis Scott is trending. And what I saw is it's our boy, Sam Can't Miss. How many followers he got? I feel like he always fucking, I'll give him a follow. I feel like he always sends out like terrible takes. But let's see what y'all's opinions is. So I'll just like it. I'm not saying that I agree with this necessarily, but I know we got some Cardi fans in the chat. Playboy Cardi label opium is way better than Travis Scott label Cactus Jack. Shit. Shout out produced by Slat X for the sub and gave it to Manny. Manny of all people. Manny the Lil Pump Stan. Who probably did not like my video today. But anyway. So Playboy Cardi's label. Who we got? We got Destroy Lonely. We got Ken Carson. Playboy Cardi versus... Travis, oh, oh, Manny Five is the Lil Pump stand. My bad, my bad. Hey, we're not hating, by the way. People, you like what you like. Okay, but Travis Scott got Travis Scott because he's on his own label. Is he on his own label? Either way, he's got Don Tolliver, he's got Sheck West, he's got Sofago. Sheck West isn't really an artist anymore. I feel like he doesn't really, he even said it himself. Like, he doesn't really drop music anymore. He's not trying to be that dude. But we gotta relate all the artists. So Don Tolliver, I feel like it's not even fair because Don Tolliver been in the game since like 2018, since Travis Scott gave him that big ass feature on Astro World, which is or which, yeah, is the biggest album that Travis Scott's ever released. Even though I still like Birds in the Trap, Sing McKnight better than Astro World, and some of y'all probably like Rodeo if y'all are a Travis Scott fan. But yeah, Cactus Jack got more bodies. Travis Scott got more bodies. And if we're not, if if we're keeping it trill here, Travis Scott got Kylie Jenner, which is, I'm sorry, she's way better than Iggy Azalea. I don't know what all the hype is about Iggy Azalea. I know she has a fucking BBL. Well, Kylie Jenner got a BBL too, but I don't know. Kylie Jenner's BBL just looks way more natural. She definitely got way more money to put into the investment of her you know, cheeks and uh, chest cheeks, if you will. Iggy don't look normal, bro. Iggy do not look normal. She looked like she she got a BBL, whereas Kylie Jenner, like she kind of looks more natural. I don't know. Kylie got more money, so I like her more. Either way, oh, Brandy over Iggy, for sure. Cardi should model his whole narcissist project after Brandy. But as I was saying, Don Tolliver dropped, or started in 2018. Heaven or Hell, I think even sold like 65K. So if we're talking about numbers wise, Travis Scott sells more than Cardi. He sold like 250K with Astro World. if you don't count the merch bundles. And if you count the merch bundles, I think it's like 500K. Let me check that. Travis Scott, Astro World first week sales. And we'll get to my opinion afterwards. Jesus Christ. 537k my guy and uh does it 270k were pure album sales so that means 267k uh were streaming granted he had the drake feature of sicko mode and all that but regardless travis scott already beats cardi if we're talking about cardi label versus travis scott label then we got let's say ken carson versus sofago which we can already say Knock Knock is a bigger hit than Ken Carson. I'm sorry to tell you, but that's just the way it is. Ken Carson was, uh, he hasn't gotten that Lyrical Lemonade music video, although he probably could if he wanted it. But Cold Menace is on that yeet lane right now. They dropping a music video, but I feel like a Ken Carson one would be fire too. That Cole, if you are watching this, because I know you a subscriber, drop a Ken Carson music video. That would be the trifecta and the Destroy Lonely one. And then, uh, so Destroy Lonely beats Ken Carson, and then Sofago beats Destroy Lonely. So right now, I mean, numbers-wise, Travis Scott, I don't even think it's a comparison. But then again, 
Cardi only started his label like 2021-ish. Yes, Cole is in Cole isn't in the chat, but he, I know I know he fucks with the channel. We talk sometimes. Um, I almost went to his summer smash, but that was when I was about to quit YouTube and streaming because I got COVID and I got depressed. But yeah, all Ken needs is lyrical lemonade music video to give him some buzz. He already got some buzz. Honestly, he just needs to drop whatever. What is he trying to drop? Uh, he already dropped Project X. I don't even remember what Ken Carson's like next project is. Is it Teen X? Some, something like that. That's his nickname. And yes, I saw Ken Carson got hacked. <laughs> That's just so funny. But at the same time, like, what's the motivation? What's the motivation to hack all of these people because, or all of these artists? Like, it's not like they got any money out of giving the account back. Plus, Instagram and Facebook, like, if you can do the verification system or whatever, as Ken Carson, whoever is the primary owner of the account, they'll give it to you for free and let you change your password. But yeah, so Ken Carson got hacked, but he responded to the hacker. I think I know who it was, but I'm not gonna say their name. They said, I am, no, no, no. The hacker said, destroy Lonely, which obviously is his boy, because they're both part of the Cardi label. He said, destroy Lonely, I am going to R word your whole family. Whoa. And it says Hector Slope or something like that. Something like that. Well, if you recall an old video where I was on a stream with a hacker discord, you'll know who who hacked or at least one of the people who hacked then he responded saying in uh, or to whomever hacks me your mother is a hoe or is a whore but yeah either way travis scott in conclusion his label is better right now numbers wise but if we're talking talent because that's really what it comes down to who do y'all think we got Destroy Lonely and Ken Carson versus Don Tolliver, Sofago. Sofago's hard to beat, but Don Tolliver is also to, also hard to beat. But they're like, Cardi almost has like a more niche label than Travis Scott, whereas Travis Scott's going more like mainstream, which makes sense because Cardi is also more niche. Like he's on the vamp, like punk. Whereas Travis Scott, you know, he's doing like Nike collabs, Dior collabs, McDonald's collabs. Like you, you can't get more mainstream than that. And yeah, the iPad that Tra or, or Ken Carson was on. But who do I listen to more? That is the real question. I probably listen to Cardi's label more. I like Cardi better. I like... Ken more than Don Tolliver, and I destroy. Lon I probably listen to So Fago more than Destroy Lonely, but that's only one versus two. If we're talking about W's out of like three v three, but if we put Shaq West in there, he just got Travis got more artists, and even numbers wise, Mo Bamba. Does that shit got like a billion views on? It, it got to. It's close. Look at this shit. It's pretty damn close. Mo Bamba got 766 mil. Trippy Red should have signed Fago. I think he tried, bro. I don't think he could have. I think what the whole deal with uh, Sofago was is that he wanted to sign, like everybody wanted to sign Sofago. But Sofago wanted to sign to Travis Scott because he, he probably looked up to Travis. He probably sought after or or replicated his or emulated at least his emu image after Travis Scott and like what he wanted to do whereas Travis did you know the McDonald's collab Dior collab Travis or Sofago probably wants to go into like fashion and all of these brand deals and be more of an experience rather than just being a rapper whereas if he signed to Trippy or Cardi or whoever it was maybe they were just going for capitalizing on the music whereas Sofago felt like he could be bigger than that so I believe Sofago signed from what I've heard like 500k 
I'm not trying to out his business dealings, but 500K and, uh, you know, probably got like a little bit better percentage because 500K advance for a rapper is, I feel like, I mean, it's definitely a lot of money, but if you're talking about a Sofago level person, like, you know, six, nine, sound like what, 10 mil, something like that. Cause the more that you sign for an advance, I feel like the percentage that you get in royalties afterwards of your masters and publishing is less. So the fact that like, if I was a rapper or even for these pub deals, like what Kochi's got, I believe, like you don't really take an advance other than maybe like a budget that you get for marketing or a music video or like for recording studios, you don't really get an advance and then you get a higher percentage. I would, I would much rather do that to be honest. <laughs> six nine and Bago should not collab, bro. I don't even know if six, six nine is dropping. I know DJ Academics sometimes gives updates on that shit, but bro, I don't even want to hear anything from six nine anymore unless it sounded like gummo because that was actually hard. K Suave harder than Trippy. Trippy 2017 era will forever be goaded. I don't think anybody could beat that. Um, right now, I do like K Suave a lot on uh not mr rage but the reverse sample of mr rage what was it um sexually active i told you i actually like sexually active better than mr rage and that was a k suave song granted trippy red was on it as the feature but i do think k suave carried that song